Vermont passed the nation's second bottle deposit law in 1972. It's been a huge success with over 75% of bottle bill containers redeemed each year. The bottle bill has reduced litter and recycled over 10 billion bottles and cans. You pay a small deposit that you reclaim later when you redeem the container. And in Vermont, unclaimed deposits go to the state's clean water fund. Bottle redemption gives people an incentive to pick up discarded bottles because they're worth real money. Even though it is the state's most successful recycling program, the bottle bill hasn't been updated in decades. That's why it's time to modernize Vermont's bottle bill. Nearly all states with deposit programs have updated their laws, keeping pace with the development of new beverages. In Vermont, the bottle bill only covers a fraction of beverages, leaving out major categories like water bottles, sports drinks, wine, and hard cider. Back when the bottle bill was enacted in 1972, nobody was buying water, energy drinks, tea, or coffee in single-serving containers. But those beverages now make up half of the Vermont beverage market. Bottle bill recycling is the best way to turn discarded beverages back into new bottles and cans. Why? Because when you redeem your beverage containers, they're already separated out from other recyclable materials. Glass bottles are kept separate from the plastic bottles and aluminum cans, and bottle bill materials are simply cleaner, more valuable, and easier to recycle into new products. This is known as closed-loop recycling, recycling with zero waste generated. A closed-loop system provides the biggest environmental benefits, with cleaner air and water, reduced climate emissions, and less mining, drilling, and fracking for raw materials. It also means less plastic pollution. In contrast, curbside single stream recycling tends to be much more contaminated. The materials are less valuable and much less likely to become new products again. Unfortunately, in some cases, curbside recycling materials aren't even recycled. In 2018, the Chittenden Solid Waste District was caught secretly dumping 18,000 tons of glass meant for recycling. That's enough glass for 33 million wine bottles. If you were to stack them end to end, they would stretch from Earth to the International Space Station and back 13 times. It's no wonder Vermonters support the bottle bill. In fact, 88% of Vermonters support the bottle bill and 83% support updating it to include more containers. It's time to give Vermonters what they want. It's time to cut plastic pollution. It's time to increase recycling. It's time to protect our air, water, and climate. It's time to modernize the bottle bill.